everybody, it's Candy. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to talk, well, first of all, before I start talking, I wanted to mention that I have a Raw for Beginners Facebook um, page. It's a group of us who are just sharing recipes and pictures of our food and, you know, uh, gosh, you know, nutrition um, facts and you know, if you're interested in that, I would love for you to join me. So just go to Facebook and uh, actually I'll put a link below and it'll be easy for you to get over there. But it's called Raw for Beginners, just like the name of this channel. So, okay. And I have a t-shirt line coming out. It's, um, it's going to be their fun and flirty, uh, sexy t-shirts uh, for vegans. So be look, I'm going to look out for that, and when I get that up and running, I'll let you know. We're working uh, to get this to get them out by Christmas, so hopefully, wish us luck. And that's my friend Madison and I who are working on that. So I wanted to talk about vegans who are really passionate about what they know, what they're aware of, but using that in a sense, um, in a way to uh, express anger towards people who are not awakened yet. And I just really wanted to say that I really would like for all of you who are vegans and who have awakened to the fact that we do not need to eat animals to survive and to thrive. We can live on plant-based foods. And there's just so many of us doing this that it's undeniable. And this is the information age and we shouldn't, you know, there's no reason to be in the dark about this. But I really believe that we can make, as vegans, we can make a bigger impact on people by walking the walk, okay? What I mean is by just doing our thing, just by being, you know, happy, healthy vegans and, you know, leaving the anger, you know, putting that aside. I mean, I understand, I totally understand where the anger and the frustration comes in. I really do. I mean, these animals are being severely abused and killed, murdered, and it is not you know, once you learn of this, you get so, I know I was so upset. I watched Earthlings and it was just, I'm going to put a link below for Earthlings for those of you who um, have not watched that. Because I know there's a lot of vegans who are healthy vegans. What I mean by that is they understand the animals, uh, the plight of the animals, but they haven't really, you know, they're working on their health. And so they haven't really looked into the animal aspect of this. Um, you know, even though they know, and I see it because I started out as a healthy vegan. I didn't, I really didn't want to be a vegan. I mean, I know I, I was a vegetarian for like 12 years and I knew about the animals and all that, but I really just didn't until I took a closer look. You know, I and I ha and I forced myself to watch Earthlings. It's the most difficult movie I've ever watched, ever. And um, so, a lot of times I had to turn the volume down because the screams of the animals just was just way over the top. But I highly suggest if you are watching my channel and you are working on your health, and um, I just highly suggest you watch Earthlings. You know, at least watch 20 minutes of it. You can do that. It's really important. If you don't connect with the animals, then the chances of you, um, you know, going back to eating cheese or dairy ice cream, you know, having all those, um, having all those slip ups, you know, you know, you will not do it. Once you see that movie, you will, you will not. And it, you know, you just will not do that anymore, okay? So just, you know, anyway. So for all of you angry vegans, please just, you know, just be the example, just lead by example. And when you 
walk into a room and people know you're a vegan and you're doing it for your health and you're doing it for the animals and you're, you know, you're going to glow. You're just going to glow. And then people are going to be asking you, what are you doing? They will. And I know, I understand the frustration. I know you want your mom to be doing this. I know you want your your son to be doing this. I know you want your sister and your brother. You want your family, but you want grandma to do this. But they are, we are all on our own journeys and you have to trust that by you being the example and just, you know, eating the healthiest foods that you possibly can, you know, and um, staying away from being a junk food vegan. What I mean by that is all the processed foods that come along with that. I mean, that's great for transition, but once you've made the transition, if you've been doing it for a while and you get that feeling you need something healthier, just start eating the fruits. Eat as many fruits as you can. Everybody loves fruit. I mean, okay, there may be a couple fruits that you don't like, don't eat those. Eat the ones you like, you know. Go for the, whatever it is, mine is watermelon. I love watermelon, and I'm so blessed it's still in season here. But anyway, go for the fruit. That will help you to get rid of the processed junk food, vegan stuff, because we really don't need that in our bodies. We really don't. And you know what? You will be happier because the fruit is live. It's alive. It's live enzymes. It's feeding our bodies. And the more we can do that, the more, you know, our brain is going to get to, you know, clear out and our bowels are going to start to, you know, you'll have better bowel movements and you're just going to feel so much better. And then you're going to be happier and you're going to want to spread the message on a higher level, on a level where people will be receptive. You know, nobody likes an angry person for any reason. You know, if you're shouting at somebody, you know, I was wearing, you know, this is kind of like a, 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 um, a zebra print, but I was wearing a leopard print one time and posted a picture on my Facebook page and this person got really upset with me saying, well, if you're a vegan, you you know, that's not the right message to send, you know. I mean, it's just a garment and, you know, we really shouldn't be, you know, wasting our energy on this type of thing. You know, we've really got to um, practice emotional intelligence. You know, if we let our, you know, if we let our emotions control us and we start getting angry at everybody, you know, it's really detrimental to our health. You know, stress is something that we all have to have to keep in check. And there's just no reason for it. There really isn't, you know. Let's be happy, healthy vegans. I know it sounds corny. And I know, you know, because when I look at pictures that come up from time to time, I get really pissed off myself. I know, you're not, you're hearing me say that. And I wanna just show everybody, this is what's happening to the animals. And our planet is suffering and, you know, go down that whole road. But you know what? I have turned so many people on to veganism just by being cheerful and showing uh, my health journey and showing what it can do to, to heal my body and to, you know, uplift my spirit, you know. So let's do it in that way. Let's, we can reach more people in that way. So, and always remember, okay, all of us have come into, not all of us, if you're Mike Stone, yeah, you're, you know, you, you came in vegan and you're, you know, you've been vegan your whole life, but not everybody's that fortunate. You know, we've all, most of us have come in and uh, been born into families that fed us, you know, all the dairy, you know, and all the ice cream and and uh, pork chops and Kentucky Fried Chicken and the whole nine yards, you know. So we were in the dark once, so please remember that, you know. We have to keep that in mind, you know. People that are in, in the dark and haven't awakened to this, uh, you know, real life situation going on here, even though, you know, um, 
it's clear to us because we're on the other side of it now. You know, if people are not ready, they're just not ready and we can't force that on anyone. So, so do this with love in your heart and, and peace, a peaceful mind. And, um, you know, just uh, share, share this in love in, in the most loving way you can. So anyway, I love you all. Please join my Raw for Beginners um, group, Facebook group. It's a private group, so you have to, uh, you know, click that you want to join. And oh gosh, I would love to have each and every one of you. I'm really working on growing my community over there so we can be of help to each other. So thank you for joining me today. I love you all. And thank you for liking what I do here and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I love you. Have a great day.